Hi folks, Rick here. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to install some new A-arms. Uh, we're actually going to be installing these Hauser uh, long travel A-arms for my 2018 Yamaha Raptor. These are uh, plus five in width. Okay, these are actually 0.5 or half an inch wide, not five inches. Sorry about that. Uh, long travel, and so I'm kind of looking forward to getting them on. So, first of all, you know, why would you want to do long travel? Well, in my case, kind of got one of these deals going on. That's the uh, impact of a tree right there. So these are damaged. So I got my choice to either putting on some stock ones again. Uh, I snapped my shock off, so I got to buy new shocks. And so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on some factory stuff, so I decided to go ahead and upgrade and do long travel. So these Hauser ones are really nice. Uh, you know, super strong, super well built if you look at them. We got all the needle bearings in here. Um, they come with everything. You got all your dust caps, grease zerks. You got some shock bolts for the lower shocks because they're different. Um, all your sleeves and stuff. Uh, this has got this is a, what they call a slide cast adjuster. This is adjust your caster, uh, which um, brings your uh, your hub forward and backwards. Over so it's a it's a suspension adjustment there. So we'll get into how to do this thing here. But this one has this, which is nice. Uh, it's got all your ball joints installed on the lowers, your uppers uh, here in the bag all ready to go. Uh, these are also uh, uh, camber adjustable and it comes with new tie rods. I only got one set of each there. It does not come with tie rod ends, so you either got to reuse your other ones or uh, install some new ones. So it just comes with longer tie rods. Uh, these are much stiffer it looks like as well, but uh, no tie rod ends. So let's get this stuff unwrapped. Uh, and then I'll get, go ahead and go over the bike there and we'll start uh, taking the old ones off and uh, get started. Okay. So we've got the bike here up on a lift. Um, Want to make sure you got a good lift. Got the front wheels off already. Actually got the other side off. Um, when you look at the suspension, you know, it looks a little bit complex. It really is, once, or not. So once you get the tire off here, and once we get this shock off, there's really not much to do on the darn thing. It's really just, uh, you got your upper and lower bolts, you take them, the whole thing comes right off. Now where it can get a little tricky here is depending on what you're doing, is getting the ball joints off here and the, the tie rod ends to get them to pop off. So sometimes there you can just tap them with a dead blow, they come off. Sometimes you may have to get a little bit of heat. Sometimes you may have to go up and find yourself a puller to, to pull them off. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, um, it also depends on what you want to do here. So if you're going to be planning on reusing your um, tie rod ends, you don't have to take them off. You can simply just unscrew your tie rod. I'm going to replace the whole thing, so I'm going to go ahead and take them off. So what I'm going to do here first is go ahead and pull this... Um, uh, brake caliper off here. So let's see here what size we need to get. Yeah, a little smaller than that. Alright. Actually, it's not even the right size. So this is a uh, like a 12 millimeter here. There's a lot of 15s, or 17s and 15s, I think 14s on this whole thing here. <clears throat> yeah, there's two bolts. There's one down here on the top, one down the bottom. Pretty easy to get off. Good time to inspect your brakes while you're doing that. In case you need some new ones. I'll go ahead and just pop this off here, I think, hopefully. Maybe not. It's gonna be a little bit easier to, to get off the net. Using the right tool for the job here, of course. 
Just use whatever I got handy. Just there we go. So you want to set this out of the way a little bit here. Um, it's got a little tiny screw here at the top. Where's my little? Uh, there we go. What is that like an eight? Yeah, a little eight millimeter. Hold your brake line on. I'm gonna end up replacing the brake lines on this one while I got it apart. Yeah, so I'm gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna go ahead and move the shock. I'm gonna put that bolt back in so I don't lose it. Go ahead and remove the shock out of here and I'll move, remove my brake line out of the way and I will be good to go. All right. So we've got here, this side here is a, um, what we got here? 17 millimeter and a 14. I've broken this one loose. I had a guard on here. I just wanted to see if I could uh, get it off. Get it done loosen. Get that one out. I'm gonna leave that bolt in there and one here on the top. See if we can get this off. Yeah, every time I start filming, got to have every lawn company out here mowing grasses. Typically, there's an air show. They reroute the freeway down my neighborhood street. I don't know what it is. It's just impossible, but that's how it is. I'm not trying to do professional video by any means. All right, so there's our shock. Again, a good idea here. Go ahead and keep all these bolts together because a lot of times you got to reuse them. Plus, you don't want to lose the things. You never know when you're going to need them for something else. It's always good to keep these metric bolts in a bag, even if you get new ones on stuff. Just makes it easier there for the future. Let's get this off. Another thing I'm going to do here before I install the new ones is go back down here and just clean everything. Man, this thing, I've been through so much mud this year. It's not even funny. All righty. So we've got that. That's pretty simple. Now, on each one of these here, hopefully you can see some of these bolts on, on your upper uh, lower ball joint, your upper ball joint, and both your tie rods, if you're gonna take your tie rods off, got cotter pins on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all those. And get ready to take those things off. They're all pretty simple to get off once you can see them, if you can see them. Okay, got those off. So far, so good. Okay, one there and one last one here to get off and I will be good. going so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, get these arms off well let me go ahead here 
Yeah, so you can do a couple things here. You can t try to take off these knuckles here. First, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that while I got him on his bike and a little leverage, and then we'll take these off here. So let's see what size wrench we need to loosen these things up with. I think it's a 17 if I could figure out what I did with mine. Yes, 17 millimeter. I'm just going to go ahead and loosen all those up. Hopefully they come up nice and loose. Get my socket out here. Now what we're going to do on this thing here to start with is on each one of these is put the nut right flush with the top of the bolt head and then we're going to hit it with a dead blow. Hopefully we can just pop these out. That will make things a lot easier for us if we can get that done. Okay, got that one. Let's tie a rod in here. None of this stuff's super tight, thankfully. Yeah, obviously here, if you're uh, not taking your your tie rods, not not replacing your tie rod uh, ends here, you don't even got to take those off. Um, if you've got standard travel uh, a arm, like maybe you're just replacing your stock ones. You don't even got to take this off. You can just leave this on uh, and then you probably don't even have to worry about your alignment. It'll probably be back in if you're lucky there. But I'm getting rid of this thing, so taking off this tie rod here is an extra step. So I'm going to go ahead here, my dead blow, and tap on a couple of these things. Hopefully everything just pops off. I'm going to do this tie rod joint here since it's handy. Okay, that's that one. Let's see if I can do any of these. No luck with that one. I can get one more off. Might have to get these off on the bench. Yep. No luck. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this uh, tie rod end off here while I got it loose. You can keep track of all the washers, the nuts. So we'll take this off. I'm going to take this whole thing off assembly, get over the bench. Then uh, I may have to get some type of a puller to pull those things or a little bit of heat there. Um, you never know. So let's, uh, let's just keep on going there. No sense uh, holding up the show. So we've got uh, 14 millimeter on one side, and I think it's gonna be the standard 15, 14, 17 millimeter show if I'm not mistaken on this stuff. Again, just be careful of all your nuts and washers. Keep track of all that stuff. I got one there. One there on that one there. You can see how easy that just came like right off. I'm gonna leave that one on until I get these bottom ones off. This all all this stuff here. If you've been greasing, and not to see on that one. But it's just not, if you've been keeping up on your maintenance and greasing everything here. Um, you know, these things should all come off pretty darn easy. So, <clears throat> so there's not much to see here. Just undoing some bolts.
Okay, that's it. Slide right out. Do this other side here. Better bite out than that. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get a bit. Yeah, maybe that right there, something like that. And there we go. This one out. Cat has to come out. Apparently, it doesn't like that. Sit. These bolts together. Grab this top one here. Slide that out. Let's wiggle a little bit. Voila! That is all there is to this darn thing. So as soon as we get these off these uh, couple of ball joints uh, it's cleanup time and going back together so this really is a lot simpler than it looks once you get a few things off simple hand tools um, but that's it so let me uh, reposition here I'll see what it takes here to get these off and then I'm gonna clean it up get everything ready to go and then we'll start to assemble and I'll kind of explain to you um, not only how to assemble it there but how to set up your suspension there for the way you want to ride adjust the caster camber uh your toe in get all the alignment done and all that stuff so uh yeah we'll keep after it all right folks got everything laid out ready to go i'm gonna put everything back together uh try to clean up everything as best i can but uh i've got la everything laid out here uh the lower a arms it's got the name facing forward the upper A arms there, it's got the flat spot facing forward. I'm reusing my bolts. Um, so I've cleaned those up. Kind of got everything laid out there. So we've got basically a dust cap, a thrust washer, the sleeve, then, you know, again, the reverse all the way across. Same on the top. So, kind of start here with the bottom and uh, go ahead and just start putting these together. Uh, they come with these sleeves. I would recommend uh, washing them just a little bit, just to uh, get any, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I put that anti-rust stuff on there. I'm gonna go ahead here uh, and just lube everything up a little bit, make it nice and nasty, of course. We'll obviously put grease in there once we get going. But this way, just make sure there's going to be no rust on any of this stuff here. I want to make sure it's in good shape. We go to stick it in. Same thing here with my bolts. Go ahead and get these all lubed up a little bit here as well. Again, just to make darn sure everything's in good shape. No rusting going on anywhere. So I'll just put a little bit on there. Not that much. Yeah, I got way too much going on here. Put some back of my gun here. All right. So let's go ahead uh, with our bolts. We want to push our bolts in from the front. Okay, folks, here's a diagram of all those parts there that I obviously didn't miss it. That right there where my cursor is is actually your A-arm. What you want to do from there is take the sleeve, slide it into the A-arm, once it gets in there, you're going to want to take um, the washer, slide it over top of the sleeve. It'll, the sleeve sticks out a little bit. Slide it over top of the sleeve, one on each side. Then from there, you're going to take these dust caps and slide that over top of the sleeve, over top of the A-arm. So you basically kind of make a sandwich. You're going to have a dust cap, washer, over top of the sleeve, push it all together. Uh, when you got the whole thing you group, you stick the bolt through, and obviously stick the nut, and then you're all good to go. 
I can get these to go in. It's a little bit of wedge in here. Let's take a good look at this one here. All right, got one in. Let's see here on this front one. It's got to go in a little bit farther. <sighs> Locate a little bit here. Maybe, there we go, Let's push it in just a little bit. Just a hair. Try to line it just a little bit better here again. It's just like right there too. right there on the edge. Alrighty, finally got that on there. Again, as you know, not everything goes perfect for me. It's okay, I'm just gonna stick these bolts on, or the nuts on so nothing comes back off. Uh, everything feels really good. Let me get everything together first, and then we'll go ahead and worry about torquing all this stuff. So let's go ahead and get the upper one in. Got the same, same procedure here with the upper one. Thankfully, there's only one bolt to deal with here. Again, this may not be all that necessary, but that's how I like to do it. Oops. All right. A little bit of grease on the ends. Make my thrush washer stick nice and good. It's on there good. Dust cap. Thrush washer. Dust cap. Go. But 
grease on this bolt. I stick it in too. Oh man, this stuff's terrible. Alrighty, so let's get this thing up. Get this thing going in here. Jeez. Make sure that that thrust washer stays in there good. Okay, let's see if we can get this in there again. There we go. Tap this thing. Okay, Let's see where that lands us there. Okay, got that one. Nut in the washer. Let's see what I'm doing. It's raining outside, so I got the um, got everything closed. Alrighty, so that's that. All right, folks, we've got our. Uh, the arms all on. Um, at this point in time, it's basically just uh, you know repeat the process, uh, reverse the process there from taking everything apart. Um, I'm not going to show you everything. It's pretty easy again. Uh, I want to put your steering knuckle back on. Obviously, your brake calipers, brake lines. If you took those off, get your tie rod ends back on. Uh, bolt your shocks on, which I don't have yet. Uh, make sure you go through and torque everything double check all the bolts there's a lot of stuff up here you don't want to miss anything it's worth a double check um, get it all in get your cotter pins in make sure you grease everything again while you got it on there uh, and, and basically that's it just uh, again reverse the process of taking it apart um, and, and it goes back on um, again taking off and putting on new arm a arms is pretty darn easy uh, anxious to see these hauser ones uh, once you got everything back together now it's a time for a wheel alignment and adjusting all your suspension and I'm going to do that in a second video. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll go through and show you how to adjust your caster, uh, your camber, get your wheels in alignment and um, you know set the tow in and stuff and all that kind of stuff as well. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, you know if you like these videos please subscribe. Um, and I'll certainly do more. If you got any ideas of what you'd like to see, let me know that as well. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you.